welcome to another video now in this one a little bit of an improvement going on if we nip outside and have a quick look at what's going on out here as you can see the weather seems to have improved the winds died down the rain stopped there's no sign of any snow wow still gray skies though anyway with regards to the mustang we have had a delivery so let's get this box in the house and see what's in there box as well <sighs> right let's have a look and see what's in here shall we as you can see everything in the box has come from rock auto now i think it should be a load of stuff for the mustang now, if you haven't seen any of the videos on the mustang and you're just new to the channel we did have a problem with the mustang a while back whereby the ABS light came on so bought a new ABS pump for it and when we came to put the ABS pump, uh, pump on the car it was the wrong pump who knew there was two different types of ABS pumps for a Mustang so bought the right pump had that fitted and that has cured the problem with ABS pump so now the ABS lights no longer on car was capable of passing an MOT if everything else was okay Put the car in, had it MOT'd, and it failed. Now, what's in here is going to fix what it failed on as part of the MOT. So, in here, we have a set of brake pads for the back of the car, and a set of anti roll bar bushes for the front of the car or the sway bar bushes. Now, this box hopefully should be a brake caliper because. The brakes aren't working properly on the back of the car. Now, while I was waiting to get the ABS pump, yeah, they are. So we've got a pair of brand new brake calipers. Now, instead of getting the old calipers freed off, the owner took the decision to buy a pair of new calipers, and then that leaves a spare pair that can be freed off, cleaned, and put away somewhere safe to use as pairs for the future. So. There's two of those, one for each side, and the next big thing that it failed on was uh, the coil springs on the front. Now, these are quite a weighty item and quite the size, as you can see. But uh, yeah, it's got one broken coil spring on the front of the car, so ordered a pair of those. Obviously, coil springs, brake colours, etc. tend to fit those or replace those in pairs, run them one side at a time, but at least now there is spare parts available because we'll have a uh, pair of spare calipers for the back well, the car is booked in so actually i don't know why i'm putting that in there what i'll do is i'll get all of these out of here into the mustang because it's been going along to the garage in the within the next couple of days to get all this fitted and hopefully pass it in we'll see fingers crossed it passes to MOT this time. Anyway, if you haven't seen any of the, of the earlier videos with regards to the Mustang and uh, what went wrong with it, uh, it was the ABS pump turned out to be the actual problem. Did think to start with it might be just an ABS sensor. So we had the car checked out by a local auto electrician close to where I live. And uh, he confirmed that all the sensors were perfectly okay. The system itself was all right. It was the ABS pump that was at fault. So apparently there's two different types of ABS pump, as I said. The first one we bought when we first knew that we wanted one or the owner first knew that she needed one i went and had a quick look on ebay lo and behold i found one thought it was a stroke of luck so bought that one uh, i think that was about 140 150 pound and this is what it looked like and then of course took that long get that fitted and that was the wrong one because this is the one that we had to buy in the end or that she had to buy in the end to get fully fitted so now that's all sorted out i do have an abs pump so if you need an abs pump that looks like this then get in touch with us double zero garage at gmail or leave a comment below and we'll see if we can come to some arrangement and i'll let you have or i'll sell you the abs pump uh if you don't need one if you don't need one you know somebody else who does let them know get in touch so all i need to do now is put this lot in the car ready to take the garage because the car is booked in for a again in the next couple of days and they're going to fit everything forward 
And of course, but the other good thing about buying pots from Rock Auto is it always comes with a fridge magnet. Now this one is a 1960s Buick Electra, the Collector Series, and it's number 144. So uh, that's another one to add to the fridge door. Let's go and have a look at those and see how many of these I've got now. Hint as to how many parts I've ordered over the years from Rock Auto. There's the collection of fridge magnets, all the previous parts ordered from Rock Auto, and we'll put this one in its place down there. There we go. Got space for another one there, look. And then there's another door over there. Wow. That's a lot of parts ordered over the years. Now, I've seen a lot of comments online on various social media with regards to pricing, especially shipping from Rock Auto. The trick with Rock Auto is not to order an individual item. If you only need one item, like an oil filter or, um, or a headlamp unit or something like that, something fairly small, if you only need one item, see if you can get together with a few people that you know or a few mates who also have American cars or cars that are available to buy parts for on Rock Auto, club together, order a huge amount together. That's where you score Rock Auto. Yes, the shipping's expensive, but it's only expensive on one item uh, on its own instead of a whole bunch of items. Now, for example, that order you've just seen, when I opened the box back there, um, that was, what was it? There was a, a pair of coil springs, a pair of brake calipers, brake pads, and um, and your roll bar bushes. So four items in total. Those four items in total came to a grand amount of £381, I think it was, that's pound, not dollars, £381. Of that £381, £87 of that was shipping. So it's, you know, <laughs> the coil springs alone are of hefty weight. The box itself, when it arrived, uh, the box was £35 in weight. So it's a fairly hefty box. We've got all that sent, what was it, 3,000, 5,000 miles, however far it is from here, uh, where the, uh, the warehouse is where the parts came from for Rock Auto. Now, when you're looking for parts on there, try and select all the parts so they'll come from the same warehouse. You get into complications if they come from different warehouses. Uh, Rock Auto themselves, they have multiple warehouses dotted all around the United States. The easiest way, if you're in England, is to select all the parts, and then once you've selected them and you put them in your, in your box, uh, you put them in your cart, ready to go pay for, check that they're all coming from the same warehouse. If they're not, the ones that are individually coming from a different warehouse, go and have a look on the Rock Auto site and see if you can select the same part from a different manufacturer that might come from the same warehouse as where the majority of parts are coming from. That always helps as well. But the easiest way to do it, put a whole lot together. Personally, I never order anything from Rock Auto that's less than about four, five, half a dozen parts and upwards. Um, the I think the minimum order I've ever done was this one, and this was £381. I've gone up from there. I've paid as high as £750 to, I think, £800 on one occasion to get a whole bunch of parts. But that really helps with the shipping. Also, at checkout on Rock Auto when you're on there, have a look at the shipping options because it always seems to automatically offer you a higher rate than the one you can find. For example, on that one, I could have had everything sent to us by post, by airmail, and that was going to be a massive £287 for the shipping. Uh, there was also one that was, I think it was FedEx, uh, FedEx uh, within 14 days, and that was 100 and, 107 or 110 or something like that. And then the option that I selected was to come by FedEx within, I think it was within seven days uh, by FedEx, and that was the one that came in at £87. Now, Every time I order anything on Rock Auto, I always completely disregard the delivery timescales because the delivery timescales never seem to match up. I always get my parts early, and it's always in three to four days, regardless of when I order them. That particular order, I think, was put in at around about two o'clock on an afternoon, maybe a Thursday afternoon, and I had the parts on the Tuesday. Uh, the last order I put in, I think it was five o'clock on a Friday night. This is all UK time, obviously. But I think it was five o'clock and I went on a Friday night, the last time I put an order in. Those bits turned up on Monday morning. I had them before half ten on Monday morning. So normally, when I order parts, maybe it's just me, maybe I've just been lucky so far, but normally when I order parts, I get them within three to four days, including the weekend. 
weekends don't seem to make any difference at all. So order them on a Friday, get them on a Monday. This time, ordered them on a, I think it was a Wednesday or a Thursday afternoon, got them on the Tuesday, so a little bit longer than normal, but they were still quite quick to get here. But as always, check before you go and pay anything. Check out that everything's coming from the same warehouse. Check that everything, that you've got the, the cheapest delivery option you can find on there. There's always a selection of, I think it's three or four. There's normally airmail, FedEx, and possibly UPS. There's definitely always three or four options on there though to choose from and if you do need to make an order get together with some mates order a big amount the, the bigger the amount the less the shipping works out that maybe you could even split the shipping with each other but personally i've never had any trouble i love rock Auto. you saw the magnets on the fridge and how many magnets there is and that's one magnet per order so you've seen how many orders are getting over the years it's absolutely fantastic i've never had any problems with it at all but you do need to check carefully before you pay anything as to how much you're paying for your shipping and where all your parts are coming from well, I think it's time for a cup of coffee. So, I think now I'm going to have this coffee. And then we'll go outside, have a look in the garage. And see what that's looking like. Because I do need to do some work on the cars that involves them being in the garage. But obviously, if you watch the videos for a while, you know there's not a lot of garage you've left at the minute. So in the next video, you'll probably find me in the garage, getting on with replacing the roof. For now though, I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Put those parts in the Mustang, ready for it to go along the garage in a couple of days, see if we can get them all fitted and actually get it to pass in the MOT this time, fingers crossed. And I'll see you in the garage. <laughs>